the first component to getting access to business credit is the owner's personal credit profile. The owner's personal credit profile is a snapshot in real time of how they've been managing their personal debt. When you're first starting out in business, one of the most important things that you can have a strong understanding on is your personal credit. This is going to help build out your personal hygiene, which usually translates into how you spend your business capital. And since banks know this, this is why 99.9% .9 of the time a business is going to have to personally guarantee their way into their first business credit line. Now, PG means that you are co-signing on behalf of the business. So think of it as a parent who is co-signing on behalf of their child for them to buy a house or a car. Now, I think that a lot of people struggle with having to use their personal credit to get that initial business credit boost because they think, why should I have to use my business credit if it's technically different from my personal credit? But again, the business isn't strong enough just yet if it's generating under $2 million in revenue. And especially if the corp or the LLC is under two years old. And so if your business isn't at $2 million just yet in revenue consistently over a 24 month period, and if your business is under two years old, then you're going to have to personally guarantee. And there's nothing wrong with that because think of it like this. If it's between you going out of business or staying in business and all it takes is you signing on the dotted line, personally guaranteeing on behalf of the business, you're betting on yourself that you're going to make it happen regardless. I can't tell you how many times I've seen a scenario where two businesses are identical, bank accounts are set up, the names are almost identical, the type of business that they're doing is almost identical, the revenue is almost identical, but one business owner has a 580 credit score and the other one has a 750 credit score. Banks usually are going to go with the one that's a 750. And fortunately, the one that's under that 620, 630 mark, they're going to get denied altogether. And because I see personal credit playing such a big role, especially early on with startups or businesses not yet at that revenue, I'm going to rank this at the S tier. The next one that we have is business formation documents. Now I'm going to group this into one piece and that's going to be your EIN, your LLC, or if you're a corp, your corp in your articles of organization or your articles of incorporation and your operating agreement. Let's break these down. Your business formation documents is what you get when you set up a business entity. Having an LLC or a corp set up is what actually separates you from the business. This creates what's called a corporate veil. Now, if you have a sole prop, there's still no corporate veil created, even if you have an EIN, because when you set up the LLC, that's when the IRS sees you and the business as two different entities. In fact, the IRS is going to see that corp, that LLC as its own person, which is why it gets its own EIN. Now the business formation docs is what banks are going to ask for when you're opening up business bank accounts and your EIN also known as your employer identification number is like the social security number for your business. And so that's what you're going to use to apply for credit on behalf of the business. And when it comes to your operating agreement, this pretty much says how the business is structured, meaning what ownership of the business you have. So maybe you have hundred percent ownership. If you're a single member LLC, or maybe you have some, some members or partners involved in the business, this can be 50, 50, this can be 25, 75. Now getting an LLC established isn't difficult. You can either use a third party servicer or hire an attorney in that state that you're looking to set up that LLC in to establish and set up this LLC for you. So once it's set up that one time, you're good to go. Now an LLC or an S corp by itself is not enough for it to get business credit without everything else that we're going to be breaking down in this video. And so because of that, we are going to be ranking business formation at a B. The next one on the list is a business bank account. A business bank account is the account used for business transactions and deposits instead of your personal finances. Now your business bank account is specifically designed to separate your personal finances from your business finances and business cash flow. And remember what we mentioned earlier about the corporate veil, which is you having that legal separation between you and the business, having a personal account and having a business account properly separated is going to allow you to keep that corporate veil in place and keep your accounts from getting shut down altogether. If the bank ever sees that you're commingling funds, which is what you want to avoid altogether. Now, in addition to that, having a business bank account established allows you to build up a partnership with that bank. What this means is they're going to see your business as someone who wants to do business with them. And so when you decide to go back in and apply for a business credit line, they're going to say, yep, we're familiar with your business and we see 
how you've been faithful with us. We see how much money's been coming in. We see how you've been consistent. So here are your options. And since bigger banks like to see liquidity, meaning cash flow, this actually helps offset the age of the LLC. So if maybe your LLC isn't past two years old, but it's bringing in good revenue and maybe you don't have A1 credit like 780, 790, maybe you're closer to 690, 700. This can help offset some of those deficiencies and still help you get over that hump so that you can get access to more credit lines and more credit options for your business. And because of that, I am going to rate a business bank account at an S tier because I see it working for more people and more businesses than not having one at all.